Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I have this Kia Sorento right behind me. So the issue with this Kia Sorento has a no-start condition. Before it came to my shop, another shop put a fuel pump in there, and after they put the fuel pump, it would not start. So the customer thinks that they actually did a bad job. So how about we get inside this vehicle right here and we try to figure it out on today's video. All right, so let's just look at these codes that we have right here. Let's see what we got. All right, so we have a P0076 intake valve control cell node circuit low bank one. I don't know if you remember my last video with the Dodge and we saw low circuit. Let's see what these next codes are. So we have camshaft position uh, circuit B. EVAP emissions, purge control valve circuit shorted, and what else? And exhaust valve control solenoid circuit low bank one. So right now we have two circuit lows. That's on the intake valve, exhaust valve. We have a circuit code right here on the EVAP purge and a cam a position sensor circuit code. So how about we look at a wiring diagram and see what we can find on this. And uh, see, man, this this is sounding kind of familiar right here with our Dodge. But our Dodge, it had a, a little issue with the throttle. and But this has an issue with not turning on. So let's give it a try. As you can see, not turning on. So let's go inside. Let's look at a wiring diagram and see what we can find. But uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a fuel pump issue right here. All right, so this is our wiring diagram right here. And remember, I just wanted to see if all these sensors were correlated to something if they all went together. And as you can tell right here, we have our OCV sensor, the intake and exhaust. And we're gonna have our purge control solenoid right here. And then we're gonna have, let's see, where's the last one? Our cam sensor, which is down here in the bottom. Let me see if we can show you. It is down here in the bottom. And I made a trace to where it goes. And then we go to that same trace. Every single thing goes to the same trace. All the way to the same part, as you can see right here. So the codes were the intake and exhaust, OCV valves, our, pr our purge solenoid, and our cam sensor right here. And they all go to the same thing. And let's see what they go to. So if we look into this, that's our sensor one fuse right here, 10 amp fuse. So when we look at low voltage, circuit code i'm thinking you know there's not enough voltage there there's a messed up wire or what so what we can do to you know take this uh, verify this we get our scope and the rope and we're going to see if we have any voltage going to our fuse so as you can see quick little wiring diagram those one two three perch and the cam let's check this out let's see what we got all right, so we have our key on the on position. So we're gonna get to the fuse box right here. And luckily they do put the information on here. So we're looking for sensor one and there's a 10 amp fuse and I uh, see it right there. Sensor one. Now let's try to see where this is at. So we have our relays up here and then our mini fuses right here. So as you can see, we have our relays up here and this looks like our one right here so we got our scope on the rope right here have the other part uh, other lead hooked up to battery negative and we're just gonna go down the line make sure everything's working as you can see now let's get to this part so we have power on this side so is it gonna be this easy Look at that. 
That looks like a lot of heat right there too. Look at the connectors. We have a new one right here. That's how it's supposed to look. Look at the blades. Look pretty good. Let's put this in. And look at that. Blue right away. So right now what we have, man, it didn't even take me that long. So we have a short. Now we need to find this. All right, so what we're gonna do, because this has a short right here, right inside here, there's gonna be two little, uh, two little connectors. One is going to be connected to the, our power source, and the, another connector is going to be connected to our wiring. So what we can do, for sure, if we have this hooked up to ground, if this is going to be power, that's going to be our circuit right there. So when, right now what we can do, we can actually move this other uh, side of the connector to the power side. And if we have a short, when we uh, hit the other prong, this light's gonna turn on all right so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna go around start moving wiring harnesses and see if we get this to shut off all right so I have our test light over there on the other side and remember so this one has a uh, cam sensor crank sensor perch uh, solenoid uh, what else uh, the intake and exhaust OCV and uh, essentially this is what I did. So you can look at the actual uh, connector with, or the actual scope on the rope over there. So what I did, I was just disconnecting different connectors right here. So as you can see, I disconnected the, the intake OCV. I'm about to disconnect the exhaust one, nothing. And then we're gonna disconnect our cam and crank and then look what we get. So uh, disconnect that and I'm gonna disconnect the one back here look what happens turned right off who check that out right there it's kind of burnt if you look at the other ones Just like the Dodge one. So how about we just switch this out real quick and uh, let's see if we get this issue again. And awesome when you find these. And they thought it was gonna be the fuel pump. All right, so this sensor right here, this is the one that we removed. And as you can see inside, check that out. It looks kind of familiar to the last video I made, the Dodge. And that's what's causing our short right there. So we got a brand new sensor right here, dealership one, as you can see, Kia Hyundai. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this back on all right, so we did our repair back there. We have our old connector. So how about we test this out? There's the fuses that we busted. And we're gonna verify that we have a fix. So remember, we're gonna hook up one side of the, the light tester to the positive side, and we're gonna see if we have ground. So remember how I showed you on that uh, on that the little clip right there? If we hook it up to this side, it will light up if we have short to ground. And look at that. No more. So now, what we want to do is going to hook up our brand new fuse to here. 
It didn't pop. So now let's go inside and let's try this out and let's make sure that this car turns on. All right, so this is the moment we've been waiting for. We're gonna see if it's gonna turn on now. So like I said, our fuse did not pop. We made sure that we didn't have a short anymore with our light tester. Everything's hooked up right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna cross my fingers. All right, here it goes. Let's give this a try. Yes! <laughs> Check that baby out right there. Woo! All right, let's use our little scanner right here. We can see if we, if we have any codes. This is awesome. Man, this is kind of crazy. Two times in a row. So we had that Dodge, and we have this Toronto. Read codes. Well, that's a permanent code, so essentially what we need to do for this permanent code right here is ju just drive the vehicle. So there you go, complete fix. Like I said, you just gotta do your wire, know your wiring diagrams, check them out. And, uh, you know, luckily no one else changed out any other parts. It was just a connector and a camshaft and some knowledge. So, there you go. If you do like this video, please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. Hope y'all have a nice day. And actually, uh, they just sent me a deal on this one. It is $59.99. And I'm telling you, this is a nice little scanner. I have the Bosch one that was about three to four hundred dollars, and this launch one, little small tool. I like it. Has a button for the IMs right here. So, you know, I'm gonna put the link down below so you can look at this scan tool. Fifty nine ninety nine. Y'all have a nice day. Take care.